Timeless Titanium Open Comb Tie 95. Beautiful looking razor here. And also by Timeless Razors, they're adjustable shaving brush. Now I have the 26 millimeter knot here and it's a little too big. Let me show you what the Simpson knot looks like. See how much bigger this one is? It's, I'd want to say it's probably even more, it even has more backbone to it. But I'm gonna put the 24 in here because after using this for a few months now, it um, it's a little too big for my face. So to undo this is you just unscrew it here at the bottom. You know, it's well built here. It has a colic down here. Just punch that out. Pull it out. Okay, here's the shave knot. Now, when it says 24, 26, 28, that's the diameter of the knot where it's bound. Okay, not how big the knot is actually. So let me set that aside. Now I do have the collet out. They give you all these collets to fit various size knots. Now. They even gave you the odd numbers as well from like 20 to 28, I believe it was. That way, you know, a lot of these knots are made in China, which these aren't. This is an AP Shave Co. G5C, a 24 millimeter. I'm going to go to it. And as you can see, knot diameter 26, 24, right? That's the difference in the knots up top. And comparing that to a Simpson, actually, once I shave with it, it's going to open up a little bit more. But you can see it's more on the side of a Simpson synthetic T3 knot, which is my favorite. But I got the 24 collet here. You just place the collet in there, like so, turn it upside down, put this piece on. I like to get it started. And then I just seat this down in here so it's straight. You can see a gasket down here. This is all going to compress. So it doesn't come out. But beautiful brush. So Shannon Shave Soaps here. This is the barbershop scent. You can also get this from Timeless Razors. I'll link all this down below. Now when I prep a tip, here's what I do. I take and load it up with some soap, right? And then I get all the soap out. Okay, because I want to get that manufacturer's, you know, gunk or whatever off of it. And I'll work it in my hand here a little bit just to prep the tip. Now I do this with every single brush I have. I'm not saying you have to, but you can see the water in my sink. It's a little discolored just because it's getting that manufacturer oils or what have you out of it. In my opinion, that's prepped. Now, I'm just gonna go in like I normally do. So I'm gonna put some water here on my face and then just go in here into my puck and grab some soap. First time you use any brush for me. It takes a little more effort. On it. Mm. Now just take the tips, heath of an inch. Break the backbone. Now what I mean by breaking the backbone, this is a painting stroke here. Breaking the backbone is pressing it Till the brush fans out like that. See? That's what I mean by breaking the backbone. These brushes are intended to do that. That Simpson brush I've had is over two years old and it works great just by doing this. But you can see why these guys partnered up with or Shannon Soaps is because it's a great product and they're from Ohio. But what a great product. All right, now I'm just gonna let that sit on my face as I load up this razor. 
I did a head shave with this razor before uh, I before I jumped in the shower. Now I'm going to do a head shave. But man, this is an open comb design here. Three piece razor. It's all titanium. Okay. And then I already have a blade that I used for my head. It's right here. It's already dried out. Set that down. Take your top cap here. Put on your AccuForge blade. That's what I'm using. Put the bottom cap on. And as you can see, Timeless Razors uses a unique locking system. It has that long bar on it right there. And that locks into the base plate right here, which is no movement whatsoever. Put this handle on here and tighten it down. Check, blade reveal, perfect. Now there is a slight overhang over here. I did do a head shave with it, but since I was aware of it, wasn't an issue. It's kind of like the Rockwell 6S or 6C. But anyhow, these, look at the huge shaving canals back here. Now these razors are built to spec to 10 one thousandths of an inch. That's how precise these razors are. Unbelievable in the wet shaving community. No one makes one with that tight of a tolerance. So it did a great head shave. I can't wait to do a face shave with it. Now I do have uh, five days of growth. So with that open comb, it should go through it right away. And I'll post up the head shave I did, but I gotta be honest, but I got to say, I couldn't even feel like it was cutting anything off. And I almost got a head shave done with one pass. That's how efficient it was. But what a beauty here. Uh, this one to spec, it weighs 77 grams the way I have it set up here. And the cost of it with the scalloped head, open comb, it being titanium with this handle, it was $310 which I'll link that below. But what a beauty this one is. I can't wait to shave with it because it did a heck of a job on my head. So let's do the first pass here. Wow. Oh boy. Wow, that's better than the Titleist Velocity one. Oh my gosh. I've never used an open comb that is that smooth. I have the R41 open comb, the Grande, and it's, I have to be careful with it. This one, hmm, it's smooth, man. Wow, that is crazy good. Unbelievable how good that is. Good man. Wow. Amazing. Man, let me give that a rinse. Okay.
I was not expecting it to be that good. Still have a little bit down here. But just with the grain on my neck, my most sensitive area, I could barely feel the blade. I'm going to go in and do another pass just because, hell, I have to, don't I? <laughs> I just prepped this brush, and even on its first lather, look how well it's doing. Unbelievable. Love her soaps. Paired with this adjustable shaving brush that's made out of aluminum, crazy good. And I know a lot of people are saying, man, this isn't a really expensive brush. Well, I, you know, once you start wet shaving for a couple years like I'm in, you acquire quite a few different brushes. And to be able just to replace the knot itself is way cheaper. Now, this being made out of aluminum, I can drop it on my ground, on the floor, anywhere, and it's not gonna bust. A lot of people bust Simpson brushes from dropping them on the floor, they crack, and then the knot does not seat anymore. So what I like to do to help me clean up my brush and to get a little bit more on me, is take the excess on the brush and just put it, you know, back on my face. and getting it uber good like that. All right, now for across the green. Yeah, that thing's good, bud. Wow. Really good there. Highly impressed. All right, let me uh, give this a rinse and we'll go over the shave. All right. Now I'm just gonna go over this with an island block here. No stinging yet. That little bit right here. Nope. Wow, what a great razor. Um, very efficient, but um, well, maybe a little stinging right there, too. A little tingle. But man, effortless shave. Or it reminds me of the Tetalus Velocity one. At a fraction of the cost. Hell, you could buy three of these for the price of one of those. And it's made out of titanium, which is, you know, more expensive metal than stainless steel. All right, so let me rinse this off my face and let's get right to the shave here. I wasn't expecting, well, I was expecting it to do good. Like I said, I did a head shave with it and I might post a little bit of, I might post a little bit of that here at the end of the video just for, you know, the guys that head shave so they can see how it performs. But um, man, I was not expecting it to do that well. Um, when I did a head shave with it, I couldn't even feel like it was cutting. I didn't think it was removing anything. And after I did my first pass, I went back and felt it. And yeah, it removed everything. All right, this is what I do to my brushes. Okay. And then you just set it in your stand and, you know, let it um, air dry. Right. So going over this razor, dude, I'm gonna tell you, Great design, the, pers the precision of these razors, I can see why they're so darn good. I mean, look at that handling. Look at the craftsmanship in this razor. Beautiful guy here. And I used an AccuForge blade, which are very, very sharp, but you can see how well that did. It did so good. Put some thayers on, I'm not gonna forget this. My favorite stuff here. 
some Nivea. Okay. I'm just gonna put yay much on. I don't use that stuff sparingly because it's so cheap. But man, what a good shave that was. Now what I have been using a lot of, and I'm just gonna pull this in. This is a tester I got from Leaf Shaves, this calming serum. Man, I've been using this on my head. You're a bald guy. You want some of this stuff. Especially in the winter, if your head's dry um, and you go for BBS all the time, this stuff is awesome. What do I think? Dude, I gotta tell you, this razor is very impressive. I have a couple other models that I'm gonna be going over, but if you like um, aggressive razors, but you like them smooth like me, this is your boy right here. Uh, I would say just as efficient as an R41, maybe a step above just because it's probably because of the blade I put in here. You know, that LQ Forge blade is really, really sharp. Um, but man, the aluminum adjustable shaving brush, these come in multiple colors. Uh, I've used this for quite a few months with the, you know, the bigger knot in it, but I can't wait to put this up against, which is that Simpson synthetic T3 knot. And you can see just after one use, when this thing dries, it's gonna be as dense or maybe even more than the Simpson T3 knot. You know, how knot should be measured is not the diameter of the knot where it's seated in. It should be measured by the fibers, right? In the head. To me, that's what makes the difference. Like um, this one right here is a 28 millimeter knot. It's not even as big as the 24. You see what I'm saying? Knot size doesn't mean anything if it doesn't have as many fibers in it. Just my point of view on it, my take. But man, what a beautiful uh, brush. I have quite a few of our different knots. They do give you the collets, you know, all these, and you get one, your pick of one brush when you buy this. But the cool thing is you can put any knot you want in here in their system, which is really cool. If you want to try a, you know, a 50, 60, 70, $200 knot, you don't have to buy, you know, a porcelain or ivory handle with it as well. Really cool selling concept. I these should be flying off the shelf. Rabbit hole stuff, but in the long run, this is going to save you a ton of money.